Happy Easter. It's Santiago here, and I am at my mom's and stepdad's home in Webster, South Dakota. So going out of Marshall, not just outside of the city, but outside the state of Minnesota, I thought this would just be a, a great place to do the next installment of my World Cup video vlog. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, today I'm joined by family. It's been a good day. We just got done eating lunch. Uh, obviously my stepdad and mom. And uh, I'm here with my sister Megan, my brother-in-law Rich, and, and my stepbrother Sean. And we're just having a good time, especially enjoying uh, newborn Jenna Hope Anderson. And uh, uh, it's great being an uncle. Um, so basically, I figured I'd keep this video simple. The theme is football basics. And for those of you who don't know the slightest thing about soccer, uh, you'll get to know some answers to some of the bo most basic questions. Um, so yeah, Rich, if you want to just ask me the first question. All right. Where was soccer born? Soccer was born and uh, really originated in England. Okay. Well, where was Jenna born? Watertown, South Dakota. <laughs> How many players per team at one time? Eleven. A goalkeeper plus ten others in a combination of defenders, midfielders, and forwards. How long is the game? A soccer game is 90 minutes. It's two 45-minute halves, and each half can also have what is called injury time, where the referee deems that say two or three minutes or whatever was lost because of injuries and waiting for kicks and so forth. And if a game's still tied, extra time is 30 minutes, two 15 minute halves, same concept. And if it's still tied after extra time, penalty kicks and so forth. Okay. How long is the field? 110 meters, or for us Americans, uh, that's about 120 yards. How many players' substitutions can be made per team per game? Three. That's right. What are the fouls or penalties? Well, you could just uh, get a whistle for tripping a player, for instance. But if it's horrible enough, you get a yellow card, and uh, basically you get cautioned, and then uh, it's, a, it's a red card after that where you get uh, thrown out of a game and your team has one less player, you can only play with 10. What happens when the ball goes out of bounds? If it's one of the sides of a field, it's a throw in. It's the only time you can use your hands if you're not a goalkeeper. Keep and if it's one of the ends of a field, either a corner kick or a free kick, depending on if you're the offense or the defense. Okay. What happens when a foul is assessed inside the goalkeeper box? If there's a foul assessed, the team that was offended gets a penalty kick awarded. Are there offsides? Mm -hmm. Yep, uh, very similar to like as in hockey and uh, even having similarities to football too. Okay. Well, that's about all the questions I have for you. Good. Well, hopefully that answers a lot of your questions as viewers about some of the simple concepts in soccer. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd keep it a simple video for this post. Uh, my next installment is going to be the eight groups. Uh, you can probably expect that in, in a week or two. Um, and Rich, I'd like to have you come out so people can see you. Thank you for shooting this video. This is my brother-in-law, everyone, Richard Anderson. The Big Rich. <laughs> Hi, everybody. And uh, yeah, I guess you can head back. All right. Let me get a good shake. All right. And if you guys have any suggestions for my videos in the future, please offer them in the comments, and you can check out my written blog in the description below. Happy Easter.